Hi, I'm Marcy from BrainAndSpinalCord.org. Today I'll be bringing you some information on the Spinal Cord Injury Treatment Team. This includes the team of people you and your loved one will work with following injury. Be sure to check the website for all relevant links and a recap of this article. When it comes to spinal cord rehabilitation, you've probably noticed that each and every professional that you or your loved one works with has an incredibly important yet specialized job to perform. This team approach is incredibly important to ensuring that you or your loved one gets the best and most comprehensive care. Generally speaking, the survivor will work with three teams. These are the medical team, the therapist team, and the support team. Let's describe the roles of each of these teams one by one. The neurosurgeon or orthopedic spine surgeon heads up the medical team. He or she is responsible for managing acute care immediately following the injury, as well as for coming up with a game plan regarding long-term rehabilitation and care. Other specialists on the medical team might include a physiatrist, a rehabilitation nurse, a dietitian, and a psychologist. Each person has their own set of responsibilities as they pertain to the survivor's medical care. For example, the physiatrist coordinates all aspects of the survivor's rehabilitation, including supervising and working with a variety of physical therapists who are knowledgeable about spinal cord injury. The rehabilitation nurse coordinates all nursing care and is also a person who will answer the many questions that both the survivor and his or her loved ones will have about spinal cord injury. As the dietary needs of the patient changes after the injury and throughout rehabilitation, a dietitian will ensure that the survivor's nutritional needs are met. Finally, a psychologist will help the survivor and his family cope with life after injury and will help them adjust. The therapist will work with the survivor during the rehabilitation phase to return the survivor to the highest level of function possible. The physical therapist will help the survivor reach maximum range of motion, endurance, and strength. He or she will also help the survivor deal with the process of finding a wheelchair, as well as learning to transfer to it, sit in it, and operate it. If there are speech or communication problems, then a speech therapist will be an important team member. A recreational therapist helps to determine the survivor's function level and then introduces him or her to activities that will bring both independence and fun back to the survivor's life. Finally, a respiratory therapist will be brought on board for survivors who are having difficulty breathing as a result of their spinal cord injury. The final team is the support team. This team is made up of a variety of specialists who will help the survivor navigate life post spinal cord injury. A social worker will help the survivor deal with things like finances, relationships, and lifestyle changes, while a case manager will act as a liaison between the survivor and insurance companies. A vocational counselor will help the survivor with work options, while a rehabilitation engineer will design assistive aids that can be used by the survivor. When it comes to treatment, from the acute phase through rehabilitation, the people on your team will determine the success of your long-term outcome. This concludes our segment on the Spinal Cord Injury Treatment Team. Remember to check our website for the most up-to-date information, including resources and tips regarding brain and spinal cord injuries. And thanks again for watching.